Hi guys, uh, good afternoon. Can you all uh, see me and hear me? Am I live? So, um, once I am live, I will just start once you confirm that you can see me and hear me, okay? So, uh, welcome back to part 3 of this uh, crash course. Uh, so, this is going to be a short session where we complete neuroradiology and we are going to be uh, uh, doing some miscellaneous topics like nuclear medicine and, you know, few tables here and there. Uh, just tell me if you can see me and hear me, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think we are uh, live. Okay, so just to orient you, uh, those of you who have just landed up here directly, uh, uh, we have had two parts of this earlier. You can see this also; it's going to be uh, separate. But you know, we've done two parts of this earlier. Uh, so part one contrast media also i'll be talking about part one was there on youtube so you'll find it as part one on youtube only uh, most likely youtube will give you as a suggestion on the top uh, second part is on an academy uh, the link of which you will find on telegram and this is part three so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna I've already done that. I've posted in a, a combined PDF, which is a non-annotated PDF of all the three parts, okay, which is there on Telegram. All three links in the combined PDF you can find on Telegram group. What is the Telegram group? Uh, Radiology with Dr. Zainab Bora or Neat PG with Dr. Zainab Bora is the new name. Okay, so you can just uh, type Dr. Zainab Bora and most likely they will redirect you on Telegram to the group. Uh, my tabit is okay, thank you. My throat is better than yesterday, but still because of now this time of the year, Delhi has the worst air quality index. That was also a question, no repeat question. That what is the air quality index of Delhi near uh, Diwali? It is very poor. Yeah, so very poor uh, air quality index, you know, will lead to throat, which will not get better for a while now. For the next one week, it will be like this only. But uh, yeah, anyways, so uh, so let's begin then NeuroRad and we'll finish off very quickly in an hour maximum, okay, so that you can enjoy the Diwali time. Uh, the next three days, do take some time out from your studies to spend some time with your family. If you're away from family, you know, just try video calling and... Uh, you know, spending some virtual time with family and take a break for yourself and uh, no harm in uh, taking a few hours off of the day and enjoy the lights and the festivities around you. Have some sweets, have some good food and drinks, all right? Uh, so definitely take care of yourself uh, before, you know, we go all in. I know INICT is just around the corner, FMG is just around the corner, but you definitely have to, you know, take time out for yourself, enjoy yourself and that is extremely important because this time will not come again. So we have to have to enjoy and uh, again manage our studies with everything. Okay. All right. Then let's uh, begin um, from an academy. This is something that they have started, which is 25% off. And this is perhaps the highest discount that they've ever given. But some uh, code, you know, it's no longer ZVURA. If you want 25% off, you'll have to type this complicated code. All right. So just take a screenshot uh, and type this code if you're looking for subscription and 25%. If you type ZVURA, that will just give you the standard 10%. Okay. So just uh, this is the extra effort that they are making you do for extra discount. Okay. So uh, make sure that you take a screenshot if you're looking to subscribe. Fine. And this is also something which is new for everybody. You can just compete and one-on-one, -on -one, this will be like a quiz, which is a new feature. So you can definitely check it out. Um, this is for the iconic subscribers, wherein we'll be having these five Zoom sessions um, around two per month, starting from next next month um, wherein we can uh, you know chat one on one and uh, any doubts that you have about life and academics i can take up okay so let's begin then uh, with neuro right neuro radiology so head trauma tell me quickly what is the initial investigation what is the investigation of choice the answer to both of them annotated pdf somebody has been very kind to post a combined pdf of part one and part two and i'm expecting that the kindness will continue and uh, that person will post part three and then combine and send that pdf so please somebody combine and write beautifully and send right so i'll be very grateful uh, and i'm sure you guys also will be very grateful okay yeah so so the uh, 
answer to both of them is going to be a non contrast ct we've done this in the thumb rules yesterday that whenever i'm looking for acute hemorrhage which is hyper dense i do not need to give contrast i'm going to do a non contrast ct there's only one exception right so there's only one exception uh, to this investigation of choice where it's not the ncct but it's mri and what is that condition we've already seen that image we've already discussed that yesterday the condition is correct diffuse axonal injury and dns do you remember diffusion weighted imaging stroke diffuse axonal injury swi right so s and d were going together so this is gonna be <coughs> susceptibility weighted imaging and the investigation obviously is mri right anytime you hear weighted imaging at least i'm sure you will know that it is mri okay so this is the only exception where investigation of choice is going to be mri everywhere else it's going to be a non-contrast ct scan okay so these are basics now acute hemorrhage we know it's going to be hyper dense on a non-contrast ct so on the basis of the shape we are going to decide whether uh, you know it is edh sdh sh where is it located right so when we as a brief rule remember whenever we're discussing head trauma it can either be extra axial hemorrhage intra axial hemorrhage extra axial means outside the brain intra axial means inside the brain isn't it so when i have hemorrhage inside the brain when i see a white white hyperdense lesion a rounded lesion inside the brain what do i call that what is that called when there is hemorrhage within the brain parenchyma that is called contusion remember so intraaxial contusion extra axial i have three things one if the hemorrhage is between the bone and the dura like this case this is going to be edh extra dural hemorrhage it's going to be idli it extra say idli yaad rakh sakte ho so this is idli shaped or lens shaped this is extra dural hemorrhage on the other hand when i see that hemorrhage is between dura and arachnoid subdural i will say that this is subdural hemorrhage and it is going to be on a crescent shape or a by or concave or convex shape right so this is going to be crescent or banana or concave or convex shape right so remember this is how the shape is going to help us decide right and left i am sure you all remember this is right this is left nobody is messing that up so contusion intraaxial edh idli shaped lens shaped outside the dura sth subdura below the dura between dura and arachnoid right edh is usually because of an arterial injury most common cause of uh, injury is going to be the middle meningeal artery which lies under the terion all right so because of terional fracture we can have middle meningeal artery so this is usually because of severe trauma edh is also the condition where lucid interval is seen more commonly it can be seen in both but more common and more specific for edh which is the brief period of regainment of consciousness between two loss of consciousness okay whereas sth is going to be because of trivial trauma because of bridging veins which are getting injured and you will have history ki bathroom mein fall ho gaya elderly ka or it's a boxer who's getting frequently hit or it's an alcoholic who's frequently falling you know so waisa history dekhenge and this is going to be because of bridging veins which are getting injured right so this is how you will have questions based on edh and sth when you have white white hemorrhage which is star shaped can you see this hemorrhage this is star shaped right so when we see star shaped hemorrhage this is sub arachnoid hemorrhage below the arachnoid so this is called as star of death this is sah what sh acute sub arachnoid hemorrhage because it is hyper dense most common cause of sh is definitely trauma but when i ask you apart from trauma can this happen spontaneously yes and what is the most common cause of spontaneous sh the most common cause of spontaneous sh is going to be rupture of rupture of berry aneurysm right so rupture of berry or saccular aneurysm last year neat question such a simple question saccular aneurysm rupture leads to right so this is something that you need to know that it is going to be leading to sah clinically it will present as a very acute headache we describe it as thunderclap मतलब एकदम वन सेकेंड मीड इज रीचिंग क्रेसेंडो राइट सो थंडर क्लैप हेड एक और वर्स्ट हेड एक ऑफ लाइफ एंड यू कैन हैव असोसिएटेड साइंस ऑफ meningitis right so basically meningeal irritation hoga because of blood accumulating so you can have signs like neck rigidity kernigs brudinski which are also false positive here okay 
Apart from that, the question comes most common site of berry aneurysm. Remember, it's going to be at the junction of ACA, ACOM, at the junction of anterior communicating and anterior cerebral artery. Last year ka question, remember, agar, so I hope you understand, this is ACA, this is ACOM. So, if I have an ACOM aneurysm, we have the chiasma, the optic chiasma located just below it. So, this aneurysm can actually impinge here and cause bitemporal hemianopia, right? So, this was also a repeat question, ki kaha pe aneurysm hoga, to chiasma compress hoga. So, it's gonna be anterior communicating artery, okay? Just like any hemorrhage initial investigation hum kya karenge? It's gonna be non-contrast CT. When I have this history, I will see this kind of a picture. I will know that it's gonna be SAH. When they ask me what is the best investigation, how do I confirm that there is an aneurysm. I am going to confirm by giving contrast. Ab mujhe vessel dekhna hai. I will need to give contrast. So, it is going to be a CCT. Vessel ke liye karenge. To CT angiography. Most common site of rupture is going to be the posterior circulation, right? So, it is usually the basilar artery and the PCOM which is basically the most common site of rupture. So, remember more common aneurysms happen anteriorly. Most common rupture is usually the posterior aneurysm. Most common rupture, nahi, we have to put it as highest risk of rupture because if most common is ACA com, most common rupture is also going to be ACA com. Are you getting my point? But, agar kisi ko, if one person has anterior aneurysm, one person has posterior aneurysm. Kiska aneurysm fatne ka zada risk hai? Posterior. Are you getting my point? But overall, so many people have AC aneurysms that they will rupture more commonly. I hope that difference is clear. Incidence versus prevalence. Incidence higher in posterior. Prevalence higher in anterior. Samaj mein aaya? So, two concepts at once. All right. So, that's PSM concept with this. And your angio ka photo nahi dekhna. Aapne ko DSA photo dekhaungi mein. Okay. Gold standard kya hai? So, gold standard is DSA. Digital subtraction angiography. Yeah. Digital subtraction angiography. So, what we do? We are going to puncture the femoral artery. And we are basically... We are going to puncture the femoral artery. We will go with our catheters and wires into the aorta, into the ICA till the ACA. When I put contrast, what will I do? I will subtract the background and I will see something like this. Can you uh, see this image? Wherein the background is not seen. So, this here is the ICA, which is terminally bifurcating anteriorly. So, this is going along the corpus callosum. So, this is ACA and this is MCA. And what do you see? Can you see one kala kala contrast filled out pouching? You will ask me, contrast to white tha ye black kaise ho gaya so remember we can easily invert with the press of a button i can invert to black and white with the seriously nahi lena on angiography okay so here this is the black black gola this is what we need to mark out that this is my aneurysm so in this case what is the site of aneurysm so this is going to be the aca and this is going to be mca so here i have an anterior communicating artery aneurysm okay so gold standard is dsa where i can make a confirmatory diagnosis and I can treat also. So, now when I have reached with my wires and catheters till here, what I can do is, I can basically put in a coil, right? So, I am going to put in these tiny, tiny coils inside the aneurysm and that is going to make the aneurysm completely occluded. So, the treatment of choice of aneurysms is going to be coiling, right? Apart from that, we can also do clipping. Yes, uh, Nike, that's a very good question. Only when it accumulates outside, when it's a collected hematoma, only then it's going to appear hyperdense, okay, not uh, uh, inside the vessels, right? So, coiling, apart from that, surgeons can do clipping, where neck pe wo band kar denge. So, clipping is an invasive procedure, not done very routinely now. So, treatment of choice is coiling, except when you have very big giant aneurysms, then clipping becomes better. Okay, so this is about SH, exhaustive discussion on SH. Shall we go on? Very quick question in the middle, 34 year old woman landed up in AIMS emergency, very commonly asked, you cannot get this wrong. Agar kisi ka road traffic accident hai and their GCS is low, 3 is the minimum GCS you can have. She was intubated and NCCT was done which was found to be normal. So, she is doing not well, right, GCS is so low, 
or they can give you that patient has coma right but we find that nccet is either normal or showing me very very tiny partial hemorrhages in that case we need to remember dai where my investigation of choice is mri that is why ct is underestimating the injury isn't it so this is diffuse axonal injury okay so very very quickly diffuse axonal injury as the name suggests there is shearing shearing tear ho raha hai axons ka clinically you will have very low gcs score or the person will be comatose and nccet would be either normal or showing me very very tiny subtle partial hemorrhages in west investigation of choice we know is mri with sequence on mri d and s susceptibility weighted imaging this is shown here this is swi which is going to show me every micro bleed so these are all tiny tiny foci of bleeding these are my micro bleeds that i am seeing because of axonal injury right so this is micro bleed this is a repeat aims question okay this image so remember these are your black black foci which are described as blooming and they represent these micro hemorrhages in diffuse axonal injury so this has not been complicated at all the same question comes in every exam where they either ask you diagnosis or they'll ask you investigation of choice and you can't 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 get this wrong so what do we do we take an oath here yes everybody that i will not get head trauma in general particularly dai wrong okay theek hai aage badhe what do you see here so this is a non contrast ct wherein i am seeing something white so this is hyperdense i know this is hemorrhage but now hemorrhage is where hemorrhage is inside the brain or outside the brain is it extra axial or intra axial this intra axial within brain also where is this this is in the basal ganglia so very quick reference to anatomy i am sure you all know this near the lateral ventricle what are these nuclei these are caudate nuclei this lens shaped nucleus is lentiform nucleus divided into outer putamen and inner globus pallidus and between the and this is the third ventricle and on the lateral aspect of third ventricle i have the thalami yes and on the posterior part of third ventricle what is this white white dot this is calcified pineal gland we know calcium is white yes investigation of choice of anything calcified do you remember non contrast ct yes so ye hai hamara pineal gland which is calcified is this abnormal kya isko koi tumor hai no this is very physiological right so pineal gland calcification is a physiological process so what is the site of bleed it is predominantly in lentiform nucleus usme bhi putamen outer part okay so here we are having hemorrhage this is intracranial hemorrhage ich most common site of intracranial hemorrhage is putamen and this happens most commonly because of hypertension very very favorite question various permutation combination permutation combination can we ask they can give you this image and ask ki kahan pe hemorrhage hai you will say putamen they can ask you most common site of hypertensive hemorrhage a fmg repeat question as a one liner you will say putamen what is the vessel which is injured so this is lenticulostriate hai na so basically basal ganglia this is the lenticulostriate branch of mca which most commonly ruptures so pathologically kya ho jata hai ki in mein na chote chote एन्यूरिजम्स बन जाते हैं रिमेंबर एन्यूरिज्म जो हमने देखा बेरी एन्यूरिज्म वैसे ही छोटे छोटे एन्यूरिज्म्स कॉल्ड माइक्रो एन्यूरिज्म्स आर फॉर्मड हियर दिस माइक्रो एन्यूरिज्म्स आर कॉल्ड शारकॉट बॉशार्ड एन्यूरिज्म्स ओके एंड व्हेन वी हैव अ सडन हाइपरटेंसिव स्पाइक इसीलिए बोलते हैं जिनको भी बीपी है इन लेमैन टर्म्स वी से कि इनको ज्यादा स्ट्रेस नहीं लेना है ना अदरवाइज देयर एन्यूरिज्म विल रप्चर देयर ब्लड वेसल विल रप्चर एंड दैट इज ऑफली एक्यूरेट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ व्हाट एक्चुअली गोस ऑन सो यू हैव दिस माइक्रो aneurysms which will rupture which are charcot bouchard aneurysms which will cause hemorrhage theek hai clear so will you identify and answer any possible question here isliye is artery ko bhi naam de diya hai artery of charcot hai na which i am sure you will correlate now theek hai lacunar bleeding nahi hai see 
भूमि लैक्यूनार इनफैक्ट होता है सो नाउ लेट मी कोरिलेट हियर ओनली वी हैव दिस आर्टरी एमसीए की छोटी छोटी लेंटिकुलोस्टाइड ब्रांचेस अगर इन आर्टरीज में नैरोइंग हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ अथीरोस्लीरोसिस राइट व्हेन आई हैव माइक्रो एथेरोमा फॉर्मेशन हियर दे विल कॉज व्हाट दे विल कॉज इस्कीमिया राइट दिस विल रपचर एंड फॉर्म हीमरेज बट अगर छोटा छोटा इस्कीमिक इनफैक्ट हो रहा है ऑफ बेजल गैंगलिया that is called lacunar infarct so lacunar infarct typically is a very small infarct that will happen but it's an ischemic infarct infarct se pata lag raha hai it is going to be because of ischemia so will it be white or will it be black on the ct will be black right so it will be hypodense whereas here when it ruptures when there's hemorrhage it's going to be hyperdense yeah so you can correlate these because same culprit vessel okay right three empties for you so i am giving you three empty wale signs so when i am showing you the cella ye kya hai ye cella hai jiske andar this is the csf right so i am not seeing pituitary normally yahan pe pituitary hona chahiye tha i am only seeing ki stalk dikh raha hai where is pituitary pituitary is missing so we say that cella empty ho gaya so this is empty cella sign or empty cella syndrome and where do i see this when pituitary is gayab yeah when pituitary is undergone ischemic necrosis which happens very commonly in a postpartum setting when the person when the female has pph pituitary undergoes ischemic necrosis this is called sheehan syndrome so sheehan syndrome is one of the most important causes for the exam for mt cella syndrome where pituitary is going to be missing i'm only going to be seeing white white fluid right which is your csf which is come instead of pituitary so this is our first thing empty cella syndrome on the other hand the second which is an old repeat of ames this is the normal thecal sac that i am showing you so this is normal wherein within the thecal sac i have all of these nerve roots i have taken sorry so i have taken a cut somewhere around the corda equina yeah so around the corda equina i have taken a cut and i am seeing these uh, no roots just trying to connect the ipad again but it's not showing up yeah it's back so these are the nerve roots yeah how cella came because CS, uh, how csf came in cella because csf is everywhere no so it's pituitary empty so csf came csf was anyways there only yeah so uh, this these are the nerve roots right now what can you see here this is my empty thecal sac so the nerve roots have disappeared because the nerve roots have all attached to the csf here <laughs> empty screen sign correct so this is empty thecal sac sign right so this is the empty thecal sac sign which will be seen when you have inflammation of the meninges so this is seen in arachnoiditis yeah so this is going to be seen in arachnoiditis right when i have inflammation and the nerve roots are going to be sticking and i will see that the thecal sac is not seen fine to ye ho gaye do empty teesra empty will be seen on a cct right when i do a contrast in an ct normally all vessel should appear white but what do i see here i see that there is no filling up of this superior sagittal sinus so this is called as empty delta sign yeah so this is empty delta sign which will be seen when superior sagittal sinus is thrombosed yeah so superior sagittal sinus thrombosis is going to show an empty delta sign keep in mind this will be seen on a contrast enhanced ct hai na so c ct pe apne ko ye milega fine so these are the three empty things that i have with you along with our empty lives and this is 3 empty now going on to cns infection so three infections first one i'm sure all of you know this any time i see this mri first of all you will say this is mri because bone is black second you will say ma'am ye sequence kaun sa hai water is white to ye t2 hai very nice so now <laughs> so now you are going to be seeing <laughs> that's a weird thing to say to people that you are looking like oxygen cylinder not everybody will get that okay <laughs> so uh, plus students of anesthesia rr will get it but but to say it on youtube it feels very weird to hear you are looking like oxygen cylinder okay <laughs> so what we have here is there are multiple lesions there are multiple such lesions that you are seeing which are white right so they are filled with fluid they are all filled with fluid and that is why they are white hence the name and they are in the brain hence the name neuro 
cysti sarcosis right so that's neurocysti sarcosis that we are seeing here so neuro matlab brain cyst matlab kyunki white hai right so hyper intense and sarcosis because you can see a larva can you see ki white white cyst hai and iske andar ek black black dot hai so that black dot is basically the scolex right kiska scolex hai टीनिया सोलियम का राइट सो दिस इज कॉज बाय इंजेक्शन ऑफ टीनिया सोलियम एग्स ऑन वेजिटेशन ओके एंड नो दिस इज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ पोर्क कंजप्शन यू आर करेक्ट दैट टीनिया सोलियम का प्राइमरी होस्ट इज पिग बट दीज एग्स आर नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद पोर्क द लार्वा इज एसोसिएटेड विद पोर्क but eggs can be seen with vegetation so in fact this happens in a lot of people who eat a lot of cabbage and a lot of green vegetables as salads all right and in our part of the world if you are a fan of vegetarian momos this is also something which is very common with veg momos right so i know two friends of mine who have had ncc because of veg momo consumption okay so that is something that you have to be uh, uh, so from now on do not have veg momos at all one more lesson from uh, rapid revision is forget veg momos remove them agar veg vegetarian ho momos khane have paneer momos or have chicken momos if you are not vegetarian okay so this is about that so this is ncc then what do we have here this is a contrast enhanced image wherein i am having this ring enhancing lesion inko bolte hain ring enhancing lesion hai na so what kind of lesions are them uh, can these also be ring enhancing yeah if i give contrast this will also show ring enhancing but the difference is the difference is one these ring enhancing lesions are all meeting into one another hai na conglomerate ho raha hai second these are around the brain stem can you see this part of the uh, brain this is the mid brain yeah so these are around around the <coughs> brain stem okay so two features that you need to remember as far as ring enhancing lesions of tb goes ye hai hamara tuberculosis i will have conglomeration and these will be more common around the brain stem whereas neurocysti sarcosis the ring enhancing lesion will be more common along the gray matter white matter junction right so in the brain parenchyma they will be seen okay so this becomes tb this becomes tuberculomas right so tuberculomas versus ncc is clear conglomeration brain stem and they can give you one more clue here that when i do an mr spectroscopy there is going to be what there is going to be lipid lactate peak so they will give you something called as lipid lactate peak and this is because of the caseous necrosis that happens in tb okay so you can just remember these three pointers to identify tuberculoma how to tell versus toxo even toxo can show you lipid lactate peak but i will show you toxo that will be seen in basal ganglia and more importantly always they'll give you hiv aids hiv aids the basal ganglia lipid lactate peak we say toxoplasmosis okay ha ye kya hai yahan pe what do you see here this is flare sequence wherein i am seeing hyper intensity remember edema of any pathology will be seen white white on a flare sequence so here i am having this affection of the temporal lobe and the frontal lobe right so whenever frontal and temporal lobes are involved this is a part of the limbic system so this person this child predominantly will come to me with behavioral abnormality so very very important you will have history ki fever hai and behavioral abnormality hai and something very typical is going to be when i do a csf tap i am going to see rbcs so this is going to be a hemorrhagic encephalitis and yes the diagnosis is hsv encephalitis which is hsv 1 or 2 hsv 1 more commonly right so this is going to be above the diaphragm you will have history of herpes labialis so hsv 1 remember this is going to be frontal temporal lobe behavioral abnormalities and it's going to be a hemorrhagic encephalitis right so these are our three infections which i need to know three infections predominantly hiv aids the moment i hear buzzword of hiv aids i think of three infections so to answer aditya's question when i have bilateral basal ganglia mein ring enhancing lesion and i tell you ki lipid lactate peak aa raha hai ab kya bataoge so bilateral basal ganglia plus ring enhancing lesion plus you are having lipid lactate peak we will say that it is toxo it is toxoplasmosis correct 
On the other hand, bilateral basal ganglia again getting involved, but now I am being shown a T2 weighted sequence. I am being shown these very, very white soap bubble kind of lesions. So, what is this? This is last, this is last session, okay. So, this is going to be bilateral basal ganglia plus white-white soap bubble lesions. So, diagnosis is going to be cryptococoma. So, these are your cryptococcal lesions. And finally, if I tell you that there is white-white hyperintensity which is noted in the white matter, randomly white matter demyelination is happening. What do you say? You say that this is PML, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy which is caused by JC virus. Yeah, so these are the three infections in HIV AIDS, white matter, PML, बेजल गैंगलिया वी सी अगर आरएल है रेगन एनहांसिंग है तो टॉक्सो अगर सोप बबल है तो क्रिप्टोकोकल राइट दिस सिक्स इंफेक्शंस पैटर्न विल यू रिमेंबर एवरीबॉडी या सो दिस इज हाउ वी आर गोना अप्रोच सीएनएस इंफेक्शंस ओके गोइंग अहेड टू सिक्स स्कल एक्सरेज अगेन एज अ पैटर्न अप्रोच वी आर गोना बी डूइंग yeah, yeah, Shiva, even these sessions, if you see, you, it's okay. If you want to do prep ladder ara, that's also enough. Okay, either of these you can see. So, skull x-rays pattern approach. So, six x-rays I'm going to show you and we are going to make a diagnosis. Okay, so, is same crash course available for other subjects? No, it's not available. But I'm doing a rapid revision. Crash course nahi, but like in lesser time we are doing. Okay, on, on Academy Plus we are doing this. Okay, so what we are having are these very, very tiny, tiny lytic lesions. Yeah, so they are these very, very tiny, tiny lytic lesions that we are seeing. So this is going to be salt and pepper skull. Tiny like salt and pepper. Hai na? So salt and pepper skull appearance is going to be seen in hyperparathyroidism yeah so this can be seen in hyperparathyroidism where because of high parathyroid you will have so many lytic lytic lesions everywhere hai na? resorption hoga PTHC to increase calcium and phosphate so that's why we're gonna have bony resorption as these tiny tiny salt and pepper when I see that lytic lesions are bigger not as tiny as salt and pepper but bigger more discernible lesions I say that this is raindrop skull or also called as Punched out skull. Yeah, it's like that someone has punched out skull. Ko. So, punched out or raindrop skull which is seen in multiple myeloma. Yeah, apart from multiple myeloma, this can also be seen if you have diffuse lytic metastasis. Yeah, so lytic mets or multiple myeloma more commonly we will have raindrop or punched out. And more bigger lesions, we call them as geographical lesions. Bade bade geographical lesions with 2-2 margin. So, geographical lytic lesion in a child this is a bachu who's come to you with multifocal involvement so geographical lesion with beveled margin double margin hai. if this is the only thing that you are seeing agar beveled margin wala lesion is the only finding i call it eg eosinophilic granuloma if it's a diffuse systemic disease liver be involved has skin may be lesions hai, we call it lch langerhans cell Histiocytosis. Yeah, yeah. So, EG may ek akela lesion hoga, multifocal bones are getting involved, you have liver involvement, skin involvement will be LCH. Dono may hi, if you do a biopsy, electron microscopy, we are gonna be seeing these tennis racket lesions, which are your Burbeck granules. So, these Burbeck granules, one more path question, they are gonna be positive for what CD marker? If I ask you specific, not everything in LCH. If Burbeck granules ka immunohistochemistry kara, to tell me very quickly what is the marker which I will see. CD1A, CD207 or S100. Ye tino hi LCH ke marker hai. But Burbeck granule mein kya milega? Burbeck granule mein milega CD207. Why CD207? Because that is Langerin, hai na? Langerin is equal to CD207 and that is the marker that you will have in Burbeck granules. Baki LCH mein ye tino markers apne ko milenge, thik hai? Very nice. Now, we have other forms of LCH also. In this rapid revision, we want to go into it. Alright, very quickly. So, we have Handschuller Christian Triad. Handschuller Christian Triad, I am just going to write Handschuller Christian Triad, HSC Triad, has obviously three things. What are the three things? So, there is going to be a skull lesion which is going to be this lytic lesion there's going to be proptosis yeah 
and what else so you will have calvarian lesion you will have proptosis and you will have diabetes insipidus these three findings are going to be a part of hand schuller christian triad on the other hand letter received eg is eosinophilic granuloma letter received disease is basically going to be the same right so letter received you can just remember is going to be something wherein again you are having this widespread involvement okay so letter received lch you can remember together fine multi-systemic involvement so lns liver and skin letter or sieve is multi-systemic involvement okay so three things yaad rakhna hai lch ke under eosinophilic granuloma only one hand shoulder christian triad three things multiple things l ka liver bhi aara hai s ka skin bhi aara hai letter or sieve disease okay fair enough so this is lch in short three more skull x-rays when you see white white now i'm seeing these white 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 like cotton sclerotic lesions so this is called as cotton wool skull which is a part of pagets now pagets is a disease which can have lysis also blastic also mixed also so we've seen picture frame vertebra yesterday right so that's also seen in pagets ivory vertebra also seen in pagets cotton wool also seen in pagets you can have person coming with increasing hat size again because of pagets right so that is called tam o shanter sign these persons can have compression of optic nerve foramina compression of internal auditory canal so they can come with neuropathies right so they can come with compressive neuropathies of the cranial nerve as well hai na to pages all of these are manifestations theek hai and yes the only marker i will have which is increased is alkaline phosphatase alp will be increased calcium phosphate pth will remain normal okay theek hai wonderful what do we have here one of the most favorite questions of fmg this is crew cut or hair on end appearance which is because of extra medullary hematopoiesis which is seen in hemolytic anemia to hemolytic anemia ki jagah option mein thalassemia bhi de sakte hain option mein sickle cell anemia bhi de sakte hain either of them is going to be our answer then we can have this calcification which is called tram track calcification this is associated with sturge weber syndrome so this is seen with sturge weber tram track you will have a violet purple port wine lesion on the face along the trigeminal territory which is your nevus flamius or port wine stain in sturge weber you can also have congenital glaucoma in sturge weber hai na to ye triad hota hai skull lesion and glaucoma okay so this is sturge weber okay no not in scurvy then three brain tumors in adults so three brain tumors in adults what is the most common primary brain tumor if i ask most common brain tumor you will say mets if i say most common primary brain tumor in adults which is benign the diagnosis is going to be meningioma one hallmark feature of meningioma we have to remember it is going to show me this tail along the dura hai na so this is the dural tail sign one thing remember for all brain tumors investigation of choice tell me bachcho from thumb rules brain tumors mri should i give contrast for brain tumors yes any tumor give contrast so i will say contrast enhanced mri is the investigation of choice right so this is meningioma which is enhancing and showing me this dural tail will this increase in pregnancy yes because of upregulated progesterone hormones inke paas progesterone hormone hai to pregnancy mein badhenge path mein kya milega path mein milega samoma bodies here wool like samoma bodies then what is this most common malignant tumor so meningioma good prognosis most common malignant tumor grade 4 tumor very low five year survival this can cross over to the other side very necrotic tumor glioblastoma multiforme or now called as glioblastoma gbm also called as butterfly glioma because it can cross over the only tumor that can cross over to the other side because of its very aggressive nature finally most common tumor of ent which is your cp angle tumor so this is the cerebellum and this is the pons so this is the most common tumor that arises at the cerebellum pontine angle what is this this is an acoustic or vestibular schwannoma 
arises most commonly from inferior part of vestibular nerve right so this is inferior vestibular nerve that i have written where acoustic schwannoma most commonly arises okay and one more thing about schwannomas yes this is related to neurofibromatosis too if you see bilateral it is diagnostic of nf2 apart from that remember we can have on path two areas the cellular area is your antony a area a cellular area is antony b and within antony a area i can have verruque body is very very favorite question of fmg theek hai so isko galat nahi karna fine so this is about acoustic schwannoma cp angle tumor it's shaped like an ice cream cone because here in the cp angle it broadens but within internal auditory canal it tapers like a cone so isko bolte hain ice cream cone appearance Normally, ice cream cone appearance, remember, is seen in malleus and incus. अगर मैंने सी टी करा ना टेम्पोरल बोन का मेलियस एंड इनकस कैन ऑल्सो शो मी नॉर्मल आइसक्रीम कोन अपियरेंस ओके दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन रिमेंबर हर सूडो पैलिसेडिंग इज अ फीचर ऑफ जी बी एम ओके सो जी बी एम में यू विल हैव सेंट्रल सर्पेंटाइन नेक्रोसिस एंड देन सेल्स आर अरेंज ओवर वन अनादर विच इज कॉल्ड सूडो पैलिसेडिंग राइट सो दैट दोज आर पैथोलॉजिकल फीचर ऑफ जी बी एम ठीक है Three tumors in बच्चूस children के तीन tumor. When you see cerebellum and there is a nodule within cyst, right? So cyst है जिसके अंदर एक nodule है in cerebellum. This is the most common benign tumor of adults. This is pilocytic astrocytoma. So this is pilocytic astrocytoma. Very very good prognosis. Grade one tumor that you are having and this is going to have the pattern which is cyst plus mural nodule pathologically you are going to have these gfap positive fibers here which are called rosenthal fibers right so path mein rosenthal fibers milenge on the other hand most aggressive fourth ventricular tumor of bachu the most common malignant tumor grade 4 tumor this is medulloblastoma medulloblastoma remember can have drop metastasis fourth ventricle mein hai it can go into the spine and lead to drop metastasis and pathways we can have these rosettes two rosettes pseudo rosettes we can have these homerite pseudo rosettes homerite pseudo rosettes which are going to have these neuropil fibers in the center to inko bolte hain homerite pseudo rosettes theek hai any rosette jahan pe center empty nahi hai we say it is pseudo rosette okay on the other hand most important question chhota bachcha child hai with calcification and cystic tumor in the supracellular location c se hi yaad rakhenge all c's together this is going to be craniopharyngioma so this is craniopharyngioma child calcification cystic craniopharyngioma ek aur c yaad rakho will compress on the optic chiasma leading to bitemporal hemianopia right so this is craniopharyngioma theek hai yaad rakhoge वेरी वेरी क्विकली फॉरन बॉडी अप्रोच समथिंग दैट दे लव चलो बताओ हम मुझे फ्रॉम आर थम रूल्स ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री क्वेश्चन एनी फॉरन बॉडी वट इज गॉन बी द इनिशियल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एक्स रे वट इज गॉन बी इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस इट्स गॉन बी अ नॉन कॉन्ट्रासिटी वट इज डेट्रीमेंटल कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इट्स गॉन बी एम आर आई और राइट मेड्यूलो वर्स इज एपेंडाइमोमा यू डोंट रियली हैव टू गो इन टू दोट आस्क यू बट जस्ट फॉर योर रेफरेंस मेड्यूलो ब्लास्टोमा रिमेंबर इट्स गॉन बी इन द रूफ ऑफ फोर्थ वेंट्रिकल वेर एज एपेंडाइमोमा इज गॉन बी ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ फोर्थ वेंट्रिकल सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट Ependymoma will be more heterogeneous, more calcification. It will invade laterally more commonly. So these are a few differences. But medulloblastoma will be more homogeneous. Okay, right? ठीक है. Now, what do you see here? These two we need to know whether पहले दो X-ray में we need to know कि esophagus में है, trachea में है. Last year neat question. So when it's gola, when you see the entire face, we say it is esophagus. ऐसे करके लिखेंगे तो esophagus में पूरा दिखेगा. On the other hand, when it's a slit on the frontal view. this is in trachea yeah so this is in trachea whereas this is in esophagus that is how we can actually say but in the neat exam <laughs> they asked a very stupid question they said ki uh, there was a child who has basically there's a child jo akela khel raha tha and now he is having dysphagia and now this is the x ray tell me where the coin is is it in esophagus or trachea 
सो ऑब्वियसली इफ द चाइल्ड इज डिस फेज या इट इज इन ईसो फेगस है ना तो ऐसे ऐसे क्वेश्चन भी आएंगे तो इसमें आपको हियर द मिस्टेक दैट वी डू इज वी विल ओवर थिंक दैट ओ माई गॉड नीट इज ऑलरेडी सेड इट इज डिस फेज या सो इट कांट बी ईसो फेगस इट कांट बी सो सिंपल लेट मी थिंक अगेन एंड चेंज माई आंसर डू नॉट गो ऑन टू दैट ट्रेन ऑफ थॉट दैट दिस सीम्स टू स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड दिस टीम सीम्स टू ईजी राइट सो यू यू कैंड ऑफ ओवर थिंक एंड देन यू गेट दिस रॉन्ग सो रिमेंबर इन एग्जाम यू विल गेट सच स्टूपिड टू ईजी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो यू विल गेट क्वेश्चन विच आर क्रेजीली डिफिकल्ट लाइक लेटर all half life ki ye kyu pucha so both kinds of questions we will get the funda is you do not get too easy questions wrong and you do not get upset by too tough questions you just move on and our aim is to answer the middle category questions right in the exam the rule is ki jo easy and middle category hai what you have studied you do not get that wrong right baki crazy questions rahenge do not get bogged down and too easy questions rahenge unko galat nahi karna and then you know say that are silly mistake ho gaya ye sab nahi karna theek hai okay chalo quickly what do you see here there is a retained piece of glass right so basically obviously you can't know that this is glass but this i will tell you that glass se injury hua tha what do you see so you will say ma'am retained piece of foreign body hai okay in medulloblastoma is cerebellum affected yes yes it can go into cerebellum some medulloblastoma variants in fact can arise from cerebellum only okay ठीक है सो दिस इज अ रिटेन्ड पीस ऑफ ग्लास इज नॉट एक्सोस्टोस इज नॉट अटैच टू बोन मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली डोंट ओवर थिंक आई एम टेलिंग यू इसको ग्लास से चोट लगी है ना सो दिस इज रिटेन्ड पीस ऑफ ग्लास सो बेसिकली एम्स एड अ क्वेश्चन किसी को ग्लास से इंजरी हुआ एंड व्हाट विल बी द इन्वेस्टिगेशन यू विल डू टू सी सो आंसर इज एक्स रे फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन एक्सरे ओके एंड वेन आई डू सी टी आई विल सी दिस ट्री कार्टिफैक्ट डू यू रिमेंबर मेटल इज गोना शो मी दिस ट्री कार्टिफैक्ट सो इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस इज सी ठीक है आगे बढ़ते हैं two very very favorite questions in every exam you are getting this so when i see that maxillary sinus is seen the best what is this view called so water's view if the mouth is closed but here the mouth is open isn't it so this is called open mouth water's view or मॉडिफाइड वॉटर्स व्यू क्यों खोल रहे हैं हम इसका माउथ हम इसका माउथ खोल रहे हैं टू सी स्पिनॉइड साइनस या टू सी स्पिनॉइड साइनस एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज पियर्स व्यू सो इन दी एग्जाम वॉट एवर इज इन योर ऑप्शन पियर्स है तो बहुत ही बढ़िया वो नहीं है तो ओपन माउथ या मॉडिफाइड वो भी नहीं है देन मार्क वॉटर्स व्यू ओके so what all sinuses can i see i can see maxillary sinus i can see sphenoid i can see frontal i can see anterior ethmoid so this is best for which sinus maxillary sinus which one do you not see i do not see posterior ethmoid everything else i can see theek hai so this is about waters or peers view on the other hand jab aap x-ray mein dekhte ho that the the pterygoid plates are obscuring maxillary sinus you cannot see the maxillary sinus you see the frontal sinus the best what is this view this is cold well hai na so this is the cold well view which is the best for frontal sinus this is the best for frontal sinus okay so how do we identify we look at this bony plate if that is there it is cold wells view okay so these are the two views of paranasal sinus ठीक है वेरी क्विकली इथमोइडल एयर सेल्स लार्जेस्ट इथमोइडल एयर सेल बुल्ला इथमोइडल दिस ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इट फॉर्म्स दी ऑस्टियोमियटल यूनिट एंटीरियर मोस्ट आगे आगे मतलब आगे एंटीरियर सो इट इज आगे से याद रखो एगर नेजाई एगर नेजाई एंटीरियर अगेन ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट पोस्टीरियर मोस्ट नॉट ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इट्स एन एनाटोमिकल वेरियंट ओनोडी O N because it compresses optic nerve. It can lead to optic nerve compression if enlarged. Infraorbital again not always present. It can obstruct maxillary sinus drainage. Haller cell. Haller cell. Niche. Pneumatized middle turbinate. Yeah yeah you can watch this video later. Recorded. Sorry, मिलेंगे. Pneumatized middle turbinate. It's going to be called conca. bullosa yeah so conca bullosa so these are the names very very frequently asked just to quickly identify when i see that maxillary sinus so remember for paranasal sinus what is going to be the investigation of choice high resolution ct so these are all hrct images when i see that this is the maxillary sinus ka ostium 
एंड आई सी की ऑर्बिट के मीडियल वॉल पे ये बड़ा सा सेल है दिस इज गोना बी बुल्ला इथमोइडालिस दिस इज इन्फीरियर टर्बिनेट दिस इज अनसिनेट प्रोसेस अ पार्ट ऑफ इन्फीरियर टर्बिनेट एंड दिस इज मिडल टर्बिनेट व्हिच हैज एयर सो दिस इज कोंका बुल्लोसा न्यूमेटाइज्ड मिडल टर्बिनेट इज दिस मेकिंग सेंस व्हेन आई सी आखे इज वेरी वेरी बिग maxillary sinus very very chotu means i have just cut very anteriorly right so when i see that anterior hai and i am seeing these medial ethmoidal cells these are going to be age agar nasai so kaise pehchanenge ki hum anterior hai when maxillary sinus is very small i know that this is the anterior most section okay so now is this clear difference between agar nasai bulla ethmoidalis When I see कि मुझे इंफ्रा और बाइटल ऑर्बिट के नीचे का सेल दिख रहा है दिस इज गोना बी हेलर सेल एंड वेन आई सी दैट आई एम पोस्टीरियर आई एम सींग स्वीनोइड साइनस दीज आर द टेरीगोइड प्लेट्स एंड आई सी दैट देर इज दिस एक्स्ट्रा सेल हियर दिस इज गोना बी ओनोडी सेल एंड दिस इज वेर आई हैव ऑप्टिक नर्व विच इज रनिंग है ना तो इसीलिए दिस कैन कंप्रेस ऑन दी ऑप्टिक नर्व इज दिस क्लियर सो दीज आर द इमेजेस ऑफ द फोर इथमोइडल एयर सेल्स दैट वी नीड टू नो सो वेरी क्विकली ऑल न्यूरो रेड क्वेश्चन वी विल डू वन मोर टाइम वेन यू सी मैगजरी साइनस इज वेरी वेरी बिग and you see medial bullite moidalis when you see maxillary sinus is very short to we know which anterior medial agernesi orbit ke niche at the level of big maxillary sinus haller cell and piche when i see pterygoid and sphenoid onodi cell theek hai all right very quickly which view when i see that there is maxillary sinus which is seen i do not have peers option is waters will be the best patient presented with history of diplopia restricted eye movements i am seeing ki floor ka rupture hai this is also called as blow out fracture also called as tear drop fracture also called as trap door fracture because there is trapping of the inferior rectus which can happen here theek hai which of the following last year neat question sacular aneurysm rupture sub arachnoid hemorrhage 34 year old lady same e question hai diffuse axonal injury thunder clap headache what is the likely diagnosis see same question so many times sub arachnoid hemorrhage which is star of death appearance 10 year old child sudden onset vision loss in bilateral temporal fields localized to optic chiasma c4 chiasma c4 child ct showing me white white calcification black black cyst cyst calcification child chiasma c4 cranio pharyngioma yes what is this in the brain i am having so many white white cystic lesions in fact in the muscle also there are these infections so this is neurocystic sarcosis and it's not just neuro it is myocystic sarcosis plus neuro neurocystic sarcosis right so this is cystic sarcosis old man bilateral hearing loss compression ho raha hai iski optic nerves ka and i am seeing these white white sclerotic spots this is cotton wool skull this is Paget's disease and this is one big clue कि उसकी optic nerve and उसकी ear की nerve compress हो रही है that is why he has bilateral hearing loss. Elderly male multiple bone pains, anemia, renal failure, hypercalcemia, पूरा crab feature दे दिया so what are they pointing towards they are pointing towards multiple myeloma because you are having these lytic lesions right so that is why it is multiple myeloma. what is the likely staging a difficult question asked in last year ini ct so ca larynx ka staging pucha in the form of radiology what you need to see here is this what is this white white thing this is thyroid cartilage is the tumor going on to the other side of thyroid cartilage yes so it is eroding thyroid cartilage and it is going and the moment you see thyroid cartilage invasion it cannot be t1 t2 t3 it is t4 a right so that is all you need to see you don't have to do the staging the only principle they have asked is actually a thumb rule ki mujhe bone ko dekhna hai ct pe aur calcium ko dekhna hai ya cartilage ko dekhna hai so basically calcified cartilage hai and i am seeing that it's getting eroded so this is thyroid cartilage invasion becomes t4a if only the inner cortex of thyroid cartilage is eroded what is the staging then if it doesn't cross over only inner cortex remember it is t3 do you want to quickly revise ca larynx staging 
चलो करते हैं एंड देन वील स्टॉप आई थिंक वील हैव टू स्टॉप देन चलो सो बेसिकली वील हैव फोर स्टेज सो वी हैव टी वन वी हैव टी टू वी हैव टी थ्री वी हैव टी फोर सो टी वन रिमेंबर ओनली वन सब साइड सो इधर सब ग्लॉटिस ग्लॉटिस और सुपरा ग्लॉटिस एंड वोकल कॉर्ड इज मोबाइल सो दैट इज टी वन फॉर टी टू टू there should be two or more subsides right so two or more subsides are getting involved so you have either subglottis and glottis or vice versa so any two or more subsides what happens to vocal cord mobility are they fixed no they are not fixed the mobility reduces or remains normal to ya to two subside hai to ho gaya ya fir mobility has reduced it is not fixed okay so that is t2 what about t3 T3 would be one. Remember three piece. What three piece from T3? Pre-glottic space, para-glottic space, and post-cricoid space. So pre-glottic ja raha hai, para-glottic ja raha hai, post-cricoid ja raha hai. And what about vocal cords? Now they are fixed. So either vocal cord fixed or any of the three pieces are getting involved. That will be T3. And what is T4? T4 is T4 A and T4 B. Do we want to remember both? No, we don't want to remember both. And one more thing in T3, which we already mentioned, was inner cortex of thyroid, right? So only the inner cortex getting involved. So that is inner cortex. So these are all T3. Three P's: vocal cord fixed and inner cortex of thyroid. Anything else will be T4 A and T4 B. Remember I M P. Important I M P. क्या तीन चीजें? ICA getting involved, mediastinum getting involved, and perivertebral space getting involved. So, अगर important structures जा रहे हैं, important ICA, mediastinum, perivertebral, तो T4B है, and anything else which is left, T4A. तो इसमें क्या हो गया? पूरा thyroid cartilage जा रहा है, it becomes T4A. ठीक है? So this is how we remember staging of CA larynx also. तो ये भी हो गया. Next question, what do we have? 15 year old male with epistaxis what do you see i am seeing that on the right side calcium pth ka table bhi theek hai i think we'll have to do one more session do you mind doing one more session like this because aaj humne kafi baatein idhar udhar ki bhi kar di we did not do very dedicated radiology hai na thoda divert hoke integrate kar liya what do we have here so we have right maxillary sinus jiska posterior wall is getting pushed by this tumor here so this is jna any time young adolescent male with epistaxis hai it is jna unless proven otherwise it's going to be homan miller sign ya homan miller sign so this is j and a tigroid pattern on mri an old aims question what is this this is seen in either so do not confuse tigroid with eye of tiger these are two things which are very commonly confused so eye of tiger is seen in pantothenate kinase but tigroid pattern is seen in either pezzelius morsbacher or metachromatic leukodystrophy for a difficult question they shouldn't have asked this but whatever so whenever you see as a white matter may hyper intensity hai this is called as tigroid pattern seen in metachromatic leukodystrophy or PMD, Pezzelius Morsbecker. When you see globus pallidus, I feel like the tiger is a tiger, right? So, this is called as eye of the tiger sign. Eye of the tiger sign, have you heard the song? Eye of the tiger sign is associated with P. Can. Pantothenate kinase associated neurodegeneration. This was previously called as Halle Warden spots. Halle Warden spots disease and this comes under the डिजीज स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ न्यूरोफेरिटिनोपैथी बेसिकली यहाँ पे ब्रेन में आयरन अक्यूमुलेशन हो जाता है ओके सो लॉट्स ऑफ बिग नेम्स बट यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस ग्रॉसली ओके बस एक बार ये देख लेना इसको कोई रट्टा मारने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है Newborn baby with congestive heart failure and brain ki baat ho, only one diagnosis possible which is vein of gallon because this is a shunting. AV shunting ho raha hai, so high output cardiac failure ho jata hai because of AV shunting. You will see this large vascular channel which is basically the dilated vein of gallon. Alright, so this is vein of gallon malformation. Miscellaneous topics, do you want to do one, one more session? This four hour 
crash course has become a six hour crash course only eventually but i think this is good i mean this will be useful we can do one more session not uh, we can do it tomorrow also i think tomorrow so i'm free tomorrow hi kar lete hain fir yeah so do you want to do one more session tomorrow theek hai perfect to kal kar lenge and that calcium table also that you want to revise i will add add that hai na kyunki kal to 20 slides hi hai to kal bhi kar lenge theek hai wonderful all right so tomorrow also we'll do uh, aortic aneurysm ka cut off would be uh, 5.5 cm yeah more than 5.5 cm diameter in a ne symptomatic patient don't see hundred images again. I mean, if you want to revise, you can just quickly go through the PDF. I think, है ना? तो ये session देख के just revise the PDF. Annotated PDF is available on the group. उसको फटाफट से सारे लोग in fact देख लो, है ना? So that everything is uh, you know refreshed. एक बार हो जाएगा. जो भी नई भी images है, तो that also will be revised. ठीक है? तो कल मिलते हैं फिर. Uh, fine. Happy Diwali to all of you. Do enjoy Saturday night today and tomorrow also. I'll see you all tomorrow in the daytime and then uh, we'll study some more and then we'll all enjoy. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, annotated PDF. I'm completely relying on uh, that kind person to post. Otherwise, I will post. Okay. Ye YouTube wale I can post. An academy wale I I I can post that also. Okay. Let me see if if he or she doesn't post, I will post. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much and happy Dhanteras to all of you. Do enjoy. Bye.